Now, it's been over a month since the death of the African-American man George Floyd in America, an atrocity that sent shockwaves around the world and led to global protests. The protesters have been calling for inequalities to be righted, particularly by countries and their colonial past. Well, in the UK, the city of Bristol in the southwest of England became one of the key points in the protests after the statue of a major slave trader was toppled by protesters. Mohamed Harare has been speaking to the local Somali community about what impact these events have had on them. It is a combination of rage and resentment. Global protests sparked by police brutality in Minneapolis have hit the city of Bristol, some 4,000 miles away, early last month. More than 10,000 people gathered in the city center to show solidarity and to change the city's infamous slave history. They toppled the statue of Edward Colliston, 18th century slave trader. His name, however, still appears in many places in Bristol, and his memory divided the city for many years. I mean, I'm the mixed-race child of a, a Welsh-English uh, white woman and a black Jamaican father, um, the way back uh, when one of my ancestors would have been taken on a ship from, the, from Africa to the Caribbean. Um, that statue is in the front to me, and, uh, and there's a plaque on it as well that describes him as a wise and virtuous son, so that's a double insult. The Somali community is the largest ethnic minority group in Bristol. I have asked some of them how they felt. I have been in America, you know, racism is a real issue. I was feeling pain and anger. I was feeling suffocated when I see, you know, the police officer putting his knee on the neck of the charge floor. And for that reason, I felt that racism is a real issue. It's something that my community would not talk about. So I come out, I involve and participate, you know, the protests that have been in Bristol town center. I express my feelings. This is the site of the historic monument. Police are now looking for 15 people who are involved in the toppling of this statue, which for many people here, it symbolizes slavery and oppression. The statue has been a controversial fixture in the city with repeated calls of it to be removed. Saeed Burale have been living here for many years. He wished the statue to be removed peacefully decades ago. Now he hopes the city can move on. Efforts have been made to remove this statue, but nothing has materialized, not only in Bristol, but in many parts of this country. The controversial monuments have caused problems. It was unfortunate that people who were involved in the slave trade still stand the most important places in our cities. The statue is now retrieved and is being kept in a secure and disclosed location. It will no longer be prominently displayed in the city center, where it has stood tall for many years. Mohamed Harare, BBC, Bristol.